In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to never pick the wrong template for your presentation design needs. And to do this, we are going to need six questions asked and answered. So the first question, does the template feature regular presentation tone and style? Just so you know, our presentations typically fall into one or more of these three categories, formal, casual, and creative. Formal presentations are used in professional settings, such as board meetings, business proposals, academic lectures, and conferences. They require a structured and professional tone. Casual presentations are more relaxed and conversational. They are suitable for informal meetings, team updates, and community events, where a friendly and approachable tone is ideal. Creative presentations, on the other hand, are perfect for marketing pitches, creative industry presentations, or any setting where innovation and originality are key to delivering your message and engaging your audience. So, ensuring that your chosen template aligns with your regular presentation tone and style is essential for selecting the right design. Moving on to the second question, does the template support your preferred platform? Now, I'm not going to tell you what platform you should use. However, PowerPoint is the leading presentation software and it has been for a while. I mean, presentations are literally called PowerPoints. That should tell you how much of an advantage PowerPoint has as a presentation tool over the other presentation software. Also, templates designed for PowerPoints are usually in the PowerPoint format, PPTX, which simply means that even though the slides were designed for PowerPoints, they are also compatible with other presentation tools. So, always ensure that the templates are compatible with your preferred platform. Moving on to the next question, how many slides does the template have? This is an essential feature of any template. More slides equals more design options and more inspiration to draw from. As a user, having a variety of options ensures you can maintain creativity and meet all your presentation needs, rather than being limited by a small number of slide designs. Speaking of more designs, that brings me to the next question. Are the slides designed using master layouts? This is another essential requirement in efficient presentation design as it helps users of the template easily customize visual elements and serves as a base for even more designs. Let me demonstrate. Here I have a comprehensive template with over 1000 slide design elements. Let me just enter the slide sorter view so we can have a better look. As I scroll down, you will notice consistency in design and formatting across all slides, and all these were possible due to the slides being designed using master layouts. Additionally, templates designed using master layouts allows for ease of use and efficient customization, enabling you to make universal changes without manually updating each slide. It also ensures that the slide designs look polished and well organized, which is essential in corporate and professional settings. All right, I'll move on to the next question. Are elements such as fonts, colors, icons, and graphics easily customizable? Before I proceed into answering this question, many people purchase templates because they have little to no design skill or experience, or they are experienced designers trying to save time and the effort required to constantly come up with creative designs. Wherever you fall within that category, the time factor is the most important, as designing your presentation is just one part of the equation. You still need to focus on the content and the delivery. And in order to reduce the time and effort spent designing presentations, design elements such as fonts, colors, icons, and graphics via templates needs to be easily customizable. Let me do a quick demonstration using a sample template. All right, as you can see here, I have a template with over 1,000 slide designs. Manually customizing elements on each slide would require a lot of time and effort. However, because these slide designs were created using master layouts, customizations become relatively simple and can be performed in little to no time. For example, if you want to change the fonts to your brand fonts, all you need to do is head to the view tab and enter the slide master view. In the slide master tab, you can see the font options. Click on it. Here you can see the custom fonts that I created and the available office theme fonts. Of course, you can simply change the fonts to any of the available fonts with just a click. You can also change the fonts to your brand fonts by selecting the customized font option and changing the heading and body fonts. It's good practice to select a bold width for the heading and a light width for the body text. Once you're done, rename the new font theme and click save. As you can see, the font is applied to the current slide master. To apply the fonts to the whole presentation, simply click on the font options, head to the font theme and apply the fonts to all slide masters. For colors, it's a similar process to fonts. 
just head to the color options in the slide master view here you can see the available color themes and as you hover over a color theme the color changes because just like fonts the slides in these templates were designed using the slide master now to add your brand colors simply select the customize color option then change these six accent colors to your brand colors using their x codes once you are done save the custom color theme to ensure that the new colors are applied to all slides head to the color options right click on your color theme and apply the theme to all slide masters so ensuring that your template of choice is designed with slide masters helps you easily customize fonts and colors in your presentations for other design elements like pictures and icons having picture and graphic placeholders in the templates helps you easily replace them take this slide for example since the template incorporates picture placeholders i can easily delete this picture and insert a new one for my device I can also use the change picture feature to replace pictures from various sources. The same can be done with icons and vector graphics. Simply select the graphic in place, then use the change graphic feature to replace the graphic from any source that you wish. There you go! Having easily editable elements helps you modify the slide contents easily and ensure that you follow your brand style and guidelines. Moving on to the final question, does the template incorporate desired features? These are more specific to your needs, so features such as light and dark themes, static presentations or animated slideshows, guides for effective template use, and bonuses like free icons. These features don't make or break the template, but they enhance the overall value that the template is offering and ensure that you are getting a template with both the best build and design quality. So, those are the 6 questions you need to ask and answer when choosing the right template. Now, where exactly do you find these templates? You can search for presentation templates using specific keywords on creative marketplaces like Graphic River, Envato Elements, Creative Markets, and even Gumroad. Just ensure that the template you intend to get has all the features covered in this video. There are a lot of good quality templates in various marketplaces. However, I'm going to shamelessly plug my templates here, most especially my recently released collection, which is the Slide Cased Presentation Collection, a collection with over 900 fully animated slides, 200 plus slide layouts, and 2000 free icons for all your presentation needs. You've seen the templates in action in this video. If you're interested in saving time and significantly reducing the efforts involved in creating stunning presentations, go check out the collection. The link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.